2012, Adidas secured the title sponsorship of the Olympics for $150 million and thought they would overshadow Nike. However, Nike used a brilliant strategy to outperform Adidas and dominate the 2012 London Olympics. Let us go through the Adidas vs. Nike London 2012 Olympics story. With Adidas as the official sponsor, Nike faced strict restrictions. They couldn't use terms like London Olympics, 2012, or even the iconic Olympic rings in their marketing campaigns. This favored Adidas significantly and created a challenge for Nike to make an impact. However, Nike came up with a genius approach to counter this challenge. They identified three key loopholes and leveraged them to their advantage. Number one, alternative Londons. Nike was prohibited from referencing London UK in their campaigns, so it cleverly shot their commercials in various other Londons around the world. These included London, Ohio, Little London, Jamaica, and London Gym. What a brilliant strategy to work around the obstacle put in front of you. There are no grand celebrations here. No speeches, no bright lights. But there are great athletes. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is reserved for the chosen few. For the superstar. The truth is, greatness is for all of us. This is not about lowering expectations. It's about raising them for every last one of us. Because greatness is not in one special place. And it is not in one special person. Greatness is wherever somebody is trying to find it. Number 2. Athlete Sponsorship Despite Adidas being the official sponsor, athletes were free to choose their footwear. Nike seized this opportunity by sponsoring 400 Olympians, providing them with a distinctive line of yellow-green shoes named Volt. This color choice ensured high visibility on the tracks, indirectly associating Nike with the games. Always remember, seizing opportunities creatively can enhance brand visibility and impact. Number 3. Inspiring the Average Individual While Adidas flaunted Olympians in their ads, Nike took a different route by featuring average teenagers. Their Find Your Greatness campaign showcased everyday individuals pushing their limits. This strategy emphasized that greatness is within everyone, not just elite athletes. What do we learn? Highlighting everyday people in marketing can connect more with the audience and boost brand success. Greatness, it's just something we made up. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few, for prodigies, for superstars. And the rest of us can only stand by watching. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. All of us. With these strategies, Nike outperformed Adidas in several key metrics it generated 16,000 tweets associating the brand with the Olympics, compared to Adidas's 9,000 tweets. It gained 57,000 new social media followers, while Adidas added only 12,000. 37% of respondents believed Nike was the official sponsor. Only 21% believed it was Adidas. Nike's brilliance lies in being able to get itself in front of the audience, no matter the challenges involved. In conclusion, Things we have learned from this case study are Think outside the box Nike used other cities named London to avoid sponsorship restrictions, showing creative problem-solving. 
Use loopholes wisely. Nike sponsored athletes footwear, ensuring high visibility without breaking sponsorship rules. Relate to everyday people. By featuring average teenagers in their ads, Nike connected with a wider audience. Maximize visibility. The distinctive color of Nike's shoes ensured they stood out on the track, indirectly promoting the brand. Adapt and overcome. Despite strict restrictions, Nike's clever strategies helped them outperform Adidas in brand recognition. Learn with Manzi is a brand that inspires and improves people's lives and mindset. So if you are following us, you're growing every day. Thanks for watching.